Hi Libra, Jennifer Angel here, and here are your stars. Great week for you. Um, fabulous things sort of have been coming up for you in, over the last couple of weeks, and certainly this week again. There's a new moon this week, it's on the 22nd, and it's in your solar seventh house of love and partnerships. So very nice. So this signifies a whole new start. It's like the whole a whole new phase of where you can do things differently if you want. I mean, it's entirely up to it's up to you, Libra. I know that you like to make sure that everybody else is looked after and uh, you know everybody's treated fairly and and not missing out. And that's and that's great. That's what we love about Libra. Um, your sense of fairness and uh, your your sense of just um, being able to keep the balance and um, you know, the, the level of give and take between people. I mean, that's all very well. I said, when it comes to yourself, you're the one that's more likely to give more than take back. So, you know, keep in mind that there is, um, you know, there is a need to keep things equal on the level of compromise that you do because over a space of time, if you do reach out and give more than you're getting back, then it can start to, the ice can start to wear a bit thin, all the cracks start to appear, you know, in the walls of the relationship. So you want to, you want to be able to just, you know, watch that and, and keep that in mind. Now, back to your um, solar chart for this week. Now, you still have Venus and Jupiter sitting in your solar eighth house. Very good position for anything official, official matters, um, money, quite a lucky uh, placement as well. Some of you could find that you, you know, you've got a windfall coming in or you could find some money or a bonus that you hadn't thought of or some cash um, you know, magically almost lands in your pocket. So, um, you know, be wise what you do with it, whether it's a, a small amount or large amount. Um, you, you know, to build good money management skills is something that you can take with you right throughout your entire life, okay? Uh, so look out for that. Let's have a quick look at what else is happening. Of course, Mercury is retrograde at the moment, and that does sit in your a zone of relationships and partnerships. It does move out of that position into um, your solar six house at the end of the week. Okay, now in this position, you want to be careful of the communications that you give to people, uh, particularly if you're changing any routines or anything that's been set in place. Um, you want to make sure that everybody is on the same page. They know what they're doing. They know what they're meant to be doing. Uh, discussions are always best, particularly in the Mercury retrograde time, to be followed up in writing or just to double check that people are uh, aware. It's easy for mix ups to happen. Okay, um, so you know, keep that in uh, keep that in mind as well. Have a great week, Libra. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.